Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 2nd, 2019. If you have not done so pick up your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool for Denarians for both pre- and post-RV planning. Link is in the description below. Simply fill out the form to register and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full version. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know we all cross the finish line together. Let's get started, shall we? First article of interest for today. Parliamentary Finance the budget of 2020 almost complete and the resignation of the government will not hinder its access to Parliament. The decision of the Parliamentary Finance Committee on Med Al Safar, on Monday, that the budget of 2020 is almost complete and left only sent to Parliament, indicating that the resignation of the government will not hinder the arrival of the budget to the House of Representatives, as the budget was prepared before the resignation of the government. Safar said in a statement to the information that the 2020 budget is almost complete and it was hoped that the government sent to the Parliamentary Finance Committee this week, but the resignation of the government will delay the arrival of the budget. He added that the government will send the budget to Parliament and that does not conflict with the law, although it is the caretaker government, because it has prepared the budget before resigning. He explained that the budget and if not approved during the current year, the financial management law stipulates that the government operates a budget one-twelfth and operating only the same paragraphs and items of the 2019 budget, until the adoption of the new budget. He pointed out that the delay in the 2020 budget has seen a lot of changes in addition to the inclusion of the demands of the demonstrators in its items, where almost daily changes in paragraphs. Next article of interest. Deputy. The new government will be formed quickly to prevent the entry of the country with financial problems. Al Fath MP Mohammed Karim said on Sunday that the new government will be formed quickly and will not be delayed much after accepting the resignation of Adal Abdul Mahdi from the premiership. Karim said in a statement to Information. The political blocs are currently holding intensive meetings to choose the new prime minister, which is acceptable to political blocs and demonstrators in reference, pointing out that the conquest of the conquest will make all concessions to resolve the current crisis and accelerate the formation of the government. He added that the failure to resolve the formation of the government quickly will expose the country to significant financial problems because the federal budget for 2020 has not been sent to the House of Representatives so far, noting that the government of Abdul Mahdi turned into a caretaker after accepting her resignation and unable in terms of the law to vote on a bill federal budget for 2020 and that the budget must be voted by the Council of Ministers on its own and not the conduct of daily business. The House of Representatives voted on Sunday to accept the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi from his post, while the head of the parliamentary bloc of the alliance Sarin, MP Nabi Al-Tarafi, the coalition officially waived the right to nominate the next Prime Minister, as the largest bloc in the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Central Bank relicenses seven companies to transfer money and stop their entry to the window of buying and selling currencies. The Central Bank of Iraq, on Monday, relieved the seven companies for financial transfer, while stopping its entry to the window of buying and selling currencies. The bank said in a statement received by Al Sumeria News, a copy of it. It was decided to approve the return of leave and letter of guarantee for seven companies to mediate the sale and purchase of foreign currencies. The bank added that the relicensing of these companies is required to merge with other companies and stop them from entering the window of buying and selling foreign currencies. The Central Bank of Iraq was established as an independent bank under its law issued on March 6, 2004 as an independent body. It is responsible for maintaining price stability and implementing monetary policy. About six financial institutions and 31 financial transfer companies. Legal expert, Abdul Mahdi could face the death penalty.
the legal expert Ali Jaber Tamimi, Monday that the resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi will face the death penalty in the event of trial, pointing out that Abdul Mahdi has immunity and can be prosecuted at any time. Al Tamimi said in a statement to the information that Adel Abdul Mahdi is responsible for the crimes that occurred against the demonstrators, as the Iraqi law in Article 24 of the Military Penalties. Article 52 of the Internal Security Forces Law and Article 48 of the Civil Penal Code all say that the President he bears full responsibility for the genocide and murder that occurs in the demonstrations. Al Tamimi added that international law in the criminal court in its Articles 6 and 7 holds the President fully responsible even if he did not give orders to kill the demonstrators. He explained that the punishment of the president who caused the killing of demonstrators in accordance with Article 406 to 1 slash 1000, which confirms premeditated murder premeditated, is the death penalty in Iraqi law, but the International Criminal Court sentenced to life imprisonment. Next article of interest. Advisor to the president. Saleh can assign any figure to form a government. An advisor to the president of the republic that President Baran Saleh can assign any figure to form a government after the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. The House of Representatives has accepted the resignation of Abdul Mahdi in its session on Sunday. It is noteworthy that Article 76 of the Iraqi Constitution provides, first, the President of the Republic, the candidate of the most parliamentary bloc, to form the Council of Ministers within 15 days from the date of the election of the President of the Republic. Second, the Prime Minister-designate shall nominate the members of his ministry within a maximum period of 30 days from the date of assignment. Third, the President of the Republic shall appoint a new candidate for the presidency of the Council of Ministers within 15 days upon the failure of the Prime Minister-designate to form the ministry within the period stipulated in Clause 2 of this article. Fourth, the Prime Minister-designate shall present the names of the members of his cabinet and the ministerial curriculum to the House of Representatives. Fifth, the President of the Republic shall appoint another candidate to form the ministry within 15 days in case the ministry does not gain confidence. Next article of interest. Parliamentary legality discusses the legislative elections of the House of Representatives and the Electoral Commission. The Parliamentary Legal Committee discussed on Monday the elections law for the House of Representatives and the Independent High Electoral Commission. A statement by the Office of the Speaker of Parliament, Mohamed Halbousi received a news agency, a copy of it, that the President of the Council of Representatives, chaired today, in the presence of his deputies and heads of political forces and the representative of the United Nations Office in Iraq, the meeting of the Legal Committee, in order to make the necessary amendments to be put to the vote. al Halbousi stressed during the meeting on the need to legislate a fair law that would be fair to all Iraqi people, restore confidence in the electoral and political process as a whole, and allow all the people to reach the House of Representatives in accordance with the highest votes. The Speaker of the Parliament, the Legal Committee and Heads of Parliamentary Blocks to hold a meeting on Tuesday, to complete all discussions and observations on the law and take the opinion of experts and technicians on the amendments under discussion. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Economy holds a meeting to draft the partnership law with the private sector in mineral investment. Member of the Committee on Investment and Economy Parliamentary Nada Shaker Jadat, on Monday, the committee to hold a meeting to discuss the drafting of some laws noting that the committee has almost completed the drafting of partnership laws with the private sector in mineral investment. Jadat said in a statement to the information that the Economic Committee is currently meeting to discuss the adoption of investment and economic laws to achieve greater economic development of the country. He added that the meeting of the committee discussed the final wording of the laws of partnership between the public and private sectors in mineral investment. Jadad explained that the two laws will be introduced during the next week, but the law on partnership with the private sector needs more precise details to avoid preventing the loss of wealth of the country in the hands of investors. Next article of interest. In the presence of Amiri, the meeting of the presidency of the parliament and legal reach an unspoken agreement. 
the Presidency of the Council of Representatives, held on Monday 12th February 2019, chaired by Mohammed Halbousi and the presence of Hassan Karim Kabi and Bashir Hadid, Vice Presidents of the Joint Meeting of the Heads of Parliamentary Blocks and the Parliamentary Legal Committee, to discuss the items of the draft law on the election of the Iraqi Council of Representatives. Al Qabi called the heads of parliamentary blocs to the importance of legislation. Sober election law restores the confidence of the Iraqi street in the electoral process and the political process, and the involvement of young people near the pulse of the street today, calling at the same time to allocate a single quota to represent the segment of people with disabilities. During the meeting, which was attended by the representative of the United Nations office in Iraq, discussed several important items and it was decided to refer these items to the discussion in a joint meeting between the legal committee and UN experts and experts of the Electoral Commission for a statement of technical opinion and adoption in the vote. Next article of interest. Iran-Iraq Trade Forum Kicks Off in Tehran The Iranian-Iraqi Trade Forum kicked off in Tehran on Monday, in the presence of economic activists and Iranian businessmen from the Kurdistan region. The two-day trade forum will discuss topics related to food, distribution network and banking in Kurdistan. In this regard, Hamid Hosseini, Secretary General of the Iranian-Iraqi Joint Chamber of Commerce, that 80% of Iranian companies and sent to the Iraqi market through the Kurdistan region of Iraq, which is a platform for the presence and development of commercial activities in the Iraqi or Syrian market. He hoped the daily average of 800 trucks, loaded with the Iranian goods for Iraqi Kurdistan, would rise to 1,000. Next article of interest. Saleh discusses with European officials international support to enhance security and stability in Iraq. The President of the Republic Baram Saleh received on Monday, in the Peace Palace in Baghdad, the Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Janine hens Blachart. The European Union and Russian ambassadors to Iraq, Martin Hoff and Maxim Maximov, respectively. During the meeting, they discussed international support to enhance security, stability and reforms in the country, as well as ways to improve bilateral relations and achieve common interests. The latest political developments on the regional and international arenas were also reviewed. Is over. Deputy. Execution of terrorists in a Syria prison will save 60 billion dinars annually. MP Kadhim al Sayadi called on Monday for the execution of terrorists in a Syria prison, noting that their execution would save 60 billion dinars annually. The fishermen said in a statement received information, a copy of it, that 6,300 terrorists in the prisons of Nasiriya. They have all the legal and administrative procedures to carry out the death penalty. He added that the execution of these terrorists will save 60 billion dinars annually, pointing out that this amount enough to recruit hundreds of young people in state institutions. The Secretary General of the Arab Tribes, Fair al Bayati, on Sunday, through information against the smuggling of 6,000 ISIS members from Nasiriya prison as a result of the turbulent situation in the province. Be sure to like and subscribe to be alerted as news unfolds from Iraq. Get your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner. Link is in the description below. Fill out the form to register and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Dinarian and get 20% off. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, more articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Denarian.